Welcome to I God. I am Jose Luis Crespo. Today is the 27th week in ordinary time. Let us ask our Blessed Mother, who continually sought the meaning of God's words in her life, to ask the Holy Spirit to enlighten our understanding of and give us the courage to put His word into practice in our daily lives. In today's Gospel, we read St. Luke's account of what Jesus taught his disciples when they said to him, Lord, teach us how to pray. We know this prayer today as the Lord's Prayer. It is a prayer that all Christians have in common. And it is a prayer that is said around the world many times a day. For Catholics, it is regarded as a very important prayer, so much so that it is included in the liturgy of the Eucharist of our highest form of prayer, the most holy sacrifice of the Mass. Yet, as many times as it is said, we have become so familiar with the prayer that more often than not, we say it without thinking of the importance of its words. Listen to this excerpt about concentration, taken from the article, Lord, Teach Us How to Pray the Our Father, written by Bridget Jones on August 3rd, 2019. One difficulty in reciting a scripted prayer, however, is maintaining our focus. How can we direct our flawed human consciousness to remain in the prayer? Make sure that each word of the prayer is spoken consciously and not by rote. Distractions are common and many prayerful, faithful people suffer from them. Let us try it with just this short version of today's gospel, saying it slowly and maintaining focus on the words we are saying. Father, Hallowed be your name, your kingdom come. Give us each day our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we ourselves forgive everyone in debt to us and do not subject us to the final test. It's not necessary to abnormally slow down the prayer. The key is in maintaining concentration and focus on the words being said. Now let's try it the next time we recite the Our Father during the Mass before communion. So let us close with this prayer. God our Father, we ask for your inspiration and guidance when we are in prayer. Keep our minds concentrated on our words and their meaning. We ask this through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen.